So I've been working on this journal and as I was, you know, putting embellishments and stuff on it, I wanted to do a bookmark. So this is what I came up with. It is a magnetic bookmark. And then you can see it's two-sided. That way you can, if you're working on a certain page, you can just open it up and mark your page. And the really cool thing about it is when you're done and say you've got like some receipts or, you know, a momentum you want to put in there, it also acts as a belly band and will hold your stuff until you can get back to it and get your work done. So with that said, I'm going to show you how to make this bookmark because it's really easy. And I just love how it turned out. So I started with double-sided. I think that's probably the most important thing to have. And I'm working out of this preserved paper pad by DCWV. I love the earth tone colors with the pops of pinks and the yellows and the mustards in it. And I do wanna make sure I cut off this top part here. So let me move this out of the way. And my bookmark is the length of my paper in that journal is eight and a half. Because I wanted something nice and long. My desk is always messy. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep moving stuff out of the way. But again, I do want to get this little snippet cut. I know my paper needs to be eight and a half long. And the width is really up to you. Um, I think I made that one. I'll remeasure it. But I want to say two inches. And i got to find my ruler here. Everything's always buried underneath the sea of craftiness. So an inch and a half. And I'm going to stick to that inch and a half because I like that um, width on a, a bookmark. I'm going to cut two of them made out of wire and I have it right behind me. This jewelry wire and it's really kind of um, uh, bendable and I just can cut it with scissors. And I just poke some holes and I threaded it through and then I put a little charm on but I thought uh, instead of doing it that way on this one I'll just sew and stitch together my bookmark so i think i'm going to have one end side exposed with the roses and the other one side exposed with uh, the print on this one i chose print for both and here's what my inside looks like and i want to put a hole in it and add a jump ring or not a jump ring i'm going to actually use a loop pin and put a charm on it so let me so got a little dangle there totally not needed but it's a fun touch and then I'm gonna grab my punch let me do my ends real quick again punch not needed you could just fold it and cut it Tells, flags, tells, what do they call them? So we'll get those out of the way. And then next up, I just need to add my magnets. So that's it. Uh, we got our magnets on. Got our bookmark. Our faux belly band. Let's add it to the page, see how it looks. And these magnets are really strong, so they like to click. And if we work with this end, we got a little charm here. And let me grab a card. So there we got our, our belly band. We're not happy with that side. We got that side. 
easy, nice, fun project. And I think it adds a lot of character to a journal. All right, thanks for joining me today. Take care. Have a great day.